WCCF Tech coverage of CES 2017 is brought to you in part by Radeon Technologies Group. Welcome back everyone, and while we were at CES, we did get to take a look around the AMD booth, as well as take a look at the new Ryzen setups, and even some of the Vega, but we'll get to the Vega in another video. But today all we're going to talk about is Ryzen and what we got to find out and see. The coolest thing was we did get to see some of those demos that they showed at the New Horizon event were set up at their booth at CES, which was pretty neat to see, as well as a bunch of motherboards and system builds from other system integrators from around the world to get an idea of what to expect when it does come to market. Now, a bit of information that we did get that was you know, confirmed there at CES 100% and let out to the world was we are going to see cores uh, and threads up to 8 cores and 16 threads. So we should have a full range of products at launch for Ryzen. It shouldn't just be one chip that comes out. So expect a nice rounded out feature set. We did get confirmation that all of the clock speeds start at 3.4 gigahertz and go up with cache going up to 20 megabytes combined of L2 and L3 cache. So that's cool. Another thing that we get to, we took a look at was the idea of the AMD Sense MI technology utilizing pure power through networked smart sensors that are optimizing the power consumption for the chip so that it stays in a good vacuum rather than running rampant. So we'll see what happens to that once it gets overclocked, once those things do come to market and we get our hands on one. And really interesting is the boost on these chips are fine grain and 25 megahertz boost increments rather than 100 megahertz stepping or even a gigahertz stepping. Well, not really gigahertz stepping, but you know what I mean. 100 megahertz stepping, it's down to 25 megahertz so that it can fluctuate based on the demand. Pairing that along with the extended frequency range should be very interesting and really make cooler testing a lot more interesting than it is now rather than just, well, what temperature does it run at? We're actually going to be able to see how fast does this cooler let this chip run. That's going to be interesting. So we, like I said, I've got a stack of coolers that I can't wait to start strapping to the CPUs and the motherboard to see just what they do. Fortunately, we still have to wait for them to come out before we can do that. And thankfully, every Ryzen chip that comes out will be unlocked. That's what they said, not me. Every one of them unlocked. That's really cool. Now, it will be dependent on the chipset as to whether you're going to be able to overclock it or not. So we'll get to that here in just a moment. Now, we did get to take a look at motherboards, and all of them were featuring DDR4, PCI Express Gen 3, NVMe, USB 3.1, Generation 2, and SATA E were all out on display. We had over we had over 16 motherboards to take a look at. 17 is what I counted to be exact the exact number. Now if you want to see a little bit more detail on each of those boards, we've got pictures and a little bit more description of what each one of them chipsets are in an article linked below. So if you want to take a look at that as well as more information on the CPU as well as some speculation and stuff, that's on those articles not here in the video. Now, they did show a variety of all of the different five chipsets ranging from essential to mainstream and enthusiast chipsets. Now those are the two that you'll need to be on if you want to be overclocking. So it's the B350 and the X370 chipsets. Those are your overclocking chipsets. You can run the Ryzen CPUs on the lower ones. You're just not going to be able to overclock them because the chipset's not going to support it. There were full builder systems on show there ranging from wild to mild, which was really cool to see. And all of those will be available on day one when that does happen. So as more information comes along and I have more information from AMD regarding Ryzen, we'll update you here on the channel. But for more information outside of that, feel free to hit up the website. And until then, we'll see you all in the next video.